Discerning Hearts provides content dedicated to those on the spiritual journey. To continue production of these videos, prayers, and more, go to discerninghearts.com and click the donate link found there or inside the free Discerning Hearts app to make your donation. Thanks and God bless. A time of Lexio Divina for the Discerning Heart. Sunday of the Most Holy Trinity. As you begin, take a deep breath and exhale slowly. For the next few moments, surrender all the cares and concerns of this day to the Lord. Say slowly from your heart, Jesus, I trust in you. You take over. Become aware that he is with you, looking upon you with love wanting to be heard deep within your heart. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John, chapter 3, verses 16 through 18. Jesus said to Nicodemus, God loved the world so much that he gave his only Son, so that everyone who believes in him may not be lost, but may have eternal life. For God sent his Son into the world, not to condemn the world, but so that through him the world might be saved. No one who believes in him will be condemned, but whoever refuses to believe is condemned already, because he has refused to believe in the name of God's only Son. What word made this passage come alive for you? What did you sense the Lord saying to you? Once more, give the Lord an opportunity to speak to you. Jesus said to Nicodemus, God loved the world so much that he gave his only son, so that everyone who believes in him may not be lost, but may have eternal life. For God sent his Son into the world, not to condemn the world, but so that through him the world might be saved. No one who believes in him will be condemned, but whoever refuses to believe is condemned already, because he has refused to believe in the name of God's only Son. What did your heart feel as you listened? What did you sense the Lord saying to you? Once more, through him, with him, and in him, listen to the word. Jesus said to Nicodemus, God loved the world so much that he gave his only Son, so that everyone who believes in him may not be lost, but may have eternal life. For God sent his Son into the world, not to condemn the world, but so that through him the world might be saved. No one who believes in him will be condemned, But whoever refuses to believe is condemned already, because he has refused to believe in the name of God's only Son. What touched your heart in this time of prayer?
What did your heart feel as you prayed? What do you hope to carry with you from this time with the Lord? Let us now close with the prayer to the Father that Jesus gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen.